Danny's in love, in love with his teacher. But she doesn't know he's alive. Danny, are you okay? However, Danny has a plan to change all that. This is the perfect plan. You make me an old guy for a few hours, I'll convince Miss Noble to dump Kelton, then you turn me back into being 14 again. He's 30. That's me? A 14-year-old in a 30-year-old's body. Hey, you got any idea how these things work? And the new school principal. Beginning today, education is going to be fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new principal in town. Starting tomorrow, all teachers will be graded by their students using a standard report card. Can we do that? <laughs> one by one, he breaks all the rules as a teenage crush becomes a full-blown love affair. And high school becomes high comedy. 14 going on 30. A hilarious romp with Dick Van Patten, Loretta Swit, Alan Thicke, Harry Morgan. 14 going on 30. A totally outrageous comedy from Disney Home Video. Time Oscar nominee Diane Cannon got the rock and pneumonia and the boogie woogie blues. She's a heavy metal mama with a beat all her own and two teenage kids who just don't seem to understand. Mom, people your age have brittle bones and shouldn't be dancing on counter. She has a secret identity. A hit record. A hot new style. All the right moves. And the love of her life. She's Rock and Roll Mom, America's hottest new singing sensation. But the fun really begins when her secret identity is discovered. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. She's Rock and Roll Mom! You loved her in Splash. Now everyone's favorite mermaid is back as the hit movie continues. Maybe we could be the all-American couple. Alan and Madison aren't average newlyweds. I know something weird is going on with you people. She's right. She's a lively mermaid who takes on a mad scientist in an outrageous oh. comedy adventure. May I offer you my arm? I have my own, thank you. She sends the neighbors into an uproar huh? and turns the entire town upside down. <laughs> the magic lives on in Splash 2. Blake Edwards, creator of the Pink Panther, introduces another hero, a ghost. Do <gasps> you believe in ghosts? George Carlin is a detective who discovers there's less of him than meets the eye. That's me. I know me, that's me, and I'm dead. Now he's got to find his killer with the help of a new partner who's still not used to the idea. Who ever heard of going into business with a ghost? Gives you a chance to start a new trend. George Carlin appears and disappears in Blake Edwards' new comedy, Just In Case. Day two, Montmartre. Carol. Day three, Notre Dame. Carol, don't. Day four, the Shawnee Museum. Please, we've been through this before, Carol. I got Weston party at four, Crandall party at six, and Duncan party at 12. <laughs> <laughs> 